What's up, YouTube? So we're gonna do a little ABG transformation today. I've been wanting to do this transformation for a while, and I finally saw a video of Michelle Choi doing it, and it looks so fun. She went all out, like lash extensions and nails and everything, so I want to do something like that. If you haven't seen her video, you should go check it out. I'll link it in the description. For those who don't know, ABG means Asian baby girl. According to Urban Dictionary, it is a special type of Asian girl who enjoys going to clubs, partying, and drinking with friends, loves to get boba and shop, usually an Instagram model, influencer, or bartender. So I asked on Instagram what I would need for this transformation, and this is the list y'all gave me. By the way, when I mentioned that I was going to do this ABG transformation, some of y'all <laughs> some of y'all were like, how are you going to transform into an ABG? You're going to go from yourself to yourself. All right, so here's a list that y'all gave me. Boba, very important. Hoops, I have that. Dragon tattoo, I don't have that, but I ordered a fake one on Amazon. Contacts, I have that. Hair extensions, I have that. Coffin nails, I get that all the time. Lash extensions, I'm probably just gonna go with really big fake lashes. Sports car. Okay, I don't know what y'all think my budget is here. So first things first, we're gonna head out to get our nails done. Look, they're so fucked up right now. All right, let's go get our nails done. Hi friends, check out the nails. This is the longest the salon would let me do them without charging me extra. So I got my boba here, Kung Fu Tea, my favorite place. My order is cheese milk foam with oolong tea, no sugar, and regular boba. This is the only valid boba order. And I forgot to get a straw, so uh, I need to drink this with a regular straw. My nails are done, so we're gonna do my makeup. So this is before. For foundation, I heard that ABGs wear a lot of foundation. And I've recently been using this as my face foundation. This is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs Leg Makeup. It's supposed to be makeup for your legs. Hence why it's very water resistant and like just clings onto your skin. It's a lot more transfer proof and water resistant than most face foundations I've tried. So if you're an ABG and you need to go to a rave or to the club or a dick appointment, this is not gonna come off. This is only gonna come off when you want it to come off. This is their lightest shade, it's Ferris Glow. So what I'm gonna do is just... This is their lightest shade and it's not a tanner. Spray the product directly on the sponge. Okay, next we're just gonna conceal some things. I'm being very heavy-handed, by the way, because that's what being an ABG is all about. The excess. Okay, at this point, I think we're gonna need to contour using the Huda Beauty Tantour in Light. Oh, this is something I've been doing with my jawline. I literally draw my jawline out like this <laughs> and then blend it out of course but it's crazy how much this straightens my jawline and I'm also going to contour my lips this is the best way to contour your lips if you want big fat juicy lips using your contour shade contour pencil whatever to line your lips. That's why I love using this. You can always use a cream brown product in your makeup because you can also use it on your eyes. I'm just gonna do a regular brown smoky eye look. Okay, this is just gonna be the base. I feel like I need more for a clubbing look. I'm gonna blend this all out. And I'm just gonna set this with a banana powder. You know who I think is a real ABG? The Kia Dragon. For brows, I'm gonna use the Sephora Collection Retractable Brow Pencil. This is all I've been using lately. This pencil is so good. Whether you want a natural brow or a full-on ABG brow, which is what I'm gonna do today. Okay, I'm gonna try to make my brows even bigger and deepen the arch. So I'm raising the arch right here and then tilting the front down, if that makes sense. You see this? Ah, I look angry. That's what I was going for. I want an angry brow. None of this innocent shit. I look like a Disney villain. Next is lashes. And I got the biggest boys I could find. Mink lashes from Amazon. They're huge, like I've never worn anything like this. Yes, 
yes. <laughs> Look at that lash. Okay, I think I definitely picked the right lash. That's why I wanted to do lashes first, because I'm like, is it even gonna matter what eyeshadow I put on if I wear this lash? Because you can't even see. It looks good though. Like I actually like it. It's like I have an animal on my eye. <laughs> These are so fucking heavy. Okay, now I can do eyeshadow. I'm gonna do a little bit of warm brown eyeshadow. You know, I've been doing a little bit of research since I'm doing this look. It, apparently it can be negative, like a word that guys like to use to like make fun of girls who like to go clubbing, which is so musty. I feel like we just, we can't have nice things. We can't even have a personality without it being a stereotype. Like, let Asian girls be nerds. Let Asian girls go to raves. Like, it's just, it's just musty. Now I'm using the Kimchi Chic Pot de Creme in shade Cashmere. This is so nice. I love this brand. I'm just gonna pat this in the center of my lid. I gotta push, oh, I gotta push my lashes down. This is why I don't trust makeup artists with long nails. Like, how the fuck do y'all do this? Oh, by the way, we just hit 600k. Thank y'all, another milestone. Ooh, this, this is the quintessential ABG eye makeup. I'm actually really impressed with myself. Do I even need eyeliner? Like, can you even see my eyeline? Okay, fine, I can't do this look without liquid eyeliner. Hold on. Fenty! Doing one sharp wing. Yes. Okay, they're slightly uneven, but that's part of the look. Now we're gonna do blush. Ooh, I love these. I'm gonna mix these two. I'm gonna do a really intense blush because you gotta make sure people can still see it in the dark. Yes, bitch. Fuck with me. And a little bit of bronzer. I feel like using bronzer to contour is part of the ABG aesthetic. Okay, now we're gonna do highlights. So I'm gonna take the Ilya, Ilya Liquid Light Serum Highlighter that I picked up from Sephora. This is in the shade Nova and it's a cream highlight. Really intense, so I think it's good for this purpose. Okay, no offense, but this looks so good. Not in like a I would wear this every day type of good, but, like, but this is exactly how I envisioned this look to turn out. Little bit of lip. And I'm using the NYX Lingerie Push-Up in the shade Lace Detail. Okay, I'm gonna highlight my brows a little bit more. And I'm gonna top off my lips with a little bit of Glossier. Cause I can't stand my lips looking this nude. It's a little bit too much for me. Okay, now the makeup is done. Contacts! These color contacts I've actually worn in other videos. Okay, if you don't wanna see this look away, Okay, definitely cried a little. Okay, I think it's time for an outfit change. Oh boy, it's gonna like get it. Okay, next is arm tattoo. I got this from Amazon. It's a dragon. Okay, this is the tattoo. I made sure to get a really big one because I want it to cover my whole shoulder. By now I'm thinking it might be too big. Fuck, how am I supposed to do this? It's so big. Fuck, what the fuck? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to keep my arm straight. There, the damn towel. Man, I really hope I'm doing this right. 10 to 20 seconds. Fuck, did it work? Oh, I think it worked. Check me out. Oh, fuck, fuck, I fucked up, I fucked up a little bit. I fucked up a little bit. <laughs> okay, let's let it dry. I definitely fucked up a little bit in the back, but it's fine. That's not gonna be in the picture. Oh. <laughs> Did I? I apply the tattoo on top of my strap. This peak ABG behavior. <laughs> I can't believe I put the tattoo on top of my fucking strap. Well, I don't want to fuck up the tattoo, so I mean, I guess I have to wear this top for a while. This is really cute. I want a sleeve. Okay, last thing is hair. I'm taking a little bit of my hair extensions from insert name here and this is my special way of putting on hair extensions it's definitely not how you're supposed to do it so I just tie my hair up like this this is only good enough for selfies because if you look to the side there's a huge bun in the back if you want to try this method seriously you're gonna have to braid that hair in the back so it doesn't pop out anyway I'm just gonna clip my hair back there I'm 
I'm definitely not doing this correctly. Gotta straighten my hair and go to the club. Next, I'm gonna put on these hoops. They're probably the most ABG hoops I own. Fuck, you can't do anything with these nails. Nice. So this is the final look. I don't understand why you make fun of girls for dressing this way. Like I wouldn't walk out like this every single day because of the effort, but I get it. It looks good. You feel like I want to fight somebody. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of this look and I'm going to go finish my bubble tea. Bye. Thank you.